I gave you the definition of current as dQ over dt, or delta Q over delta T, the charge per unit time. Now let's look at sort of the microscopic model of current. I've had students get confused about this. We end up with sort of many, many definitions of current. It seems like more than, than there should be. But they're all sort of in different cases. So what I told you before was the mathematical version of current. dQ dt, that's if you have some function, you're taking a derivative, maybe. Here, this is a microscopic model. That means we're really going to look inside at the charge carriers and see what they're really doing. And see if we can describe current in terms of how, how they're moving. That's a microscopic model. So here's the microscopic model. We've got to think about the flow of charge at constant velocity, which we're going to call V drift. Because if you think about it, if we're going to have a steady current, that's the flow of charge past this plane. And if that's going to be steady, it's always going to be the same amount flowing. All the charges, therefore, would just have to move at the same velocity in the most sort of simple, uniform idea. So let's draw the wire and again and see what it's going to look like. So here's the big wire. And we're going to go into dreamland and just pretend that the charge carriers are positive. Okay? So here we're going to use a new variable. We're going to use n. n is the charge carrier density. Okay? So there's all these charge carriers in this wire, and they're moving along with V drift, and they're moving with the current I. So we're going to pretend they're, po or they're we're, we're going to define them to be positive. And this is their density. And one thing to point out is that N, again, is the number of carriers per unit volume. It is not the same, uh, it's not the same as rho. So remember rho? Rho was the charge density. So you might say if it's the number of carriers per unit volume and they're charged, then it must be basically rho, that this wire is charged. Well, that's not the case, okay? Um, two reasons that's not the case is that one, when a wire carries a current, it's not necessarily charged. In fact, it's not charged, usually. There's just as much negative charge as there is positive charge in a neutral wire. It's just one of the two d the charges can move, right? Even if they both move, even if the electrons flowed one way and the protons flowed the other way, you could have a current flow and it would still be neutral. So don't mix these two up. If you actually need the number of carriers per unit volume and you need their actual charge, which we'll need in a minute, you have to multiply n by the charge on each carrier. If it's protons, then it would be multiply it by e. If it's electrons, multiply it by negative e. Okay, so n is literally a number here. Its unit is simply inverse meters cubed. There's no charge in n, okay, lowercase n. Okay, so let's think about our model. Uh, let's see, I, the current, we said was delta Q, delta T. So now let's write that in terms of the microscopic model. So if we pick an area like this. We're going to think about the number of charges that go across that area. And in a unit of time delta t, all the ones that cross that area are going to get to a certain distance to over here. Okay. They're going to make it to there. All right. So this is at t equals zero, and this is at t equals delta t, is how far these charge carriers are going. Well, if we know their velocity, then we also know how uh, far they're going to go. They're going to go a distance delta x. And since we know their velocity, we could get the relationship as uh, v, v equals dt. Okay? So now we're equipped to plug in for delta q and delta t. Okay? So the amount of charge is what? It's the, the uh, density of charge carriers, number of charge carriers per unit volume, in times the volume of this thing, right? This is how many flowed by in uh, delta T. So the volume of this is A times delta X. So 
A is the end cap and delta X is the length. And that is not yet the charge. Okay. That is the uh, number. To make it the charge, we need Q. That's the charge of each charge carrier. Charge carrier unit density, each has charge Q, little q. Okay. So each one of these is a little q. And let's see, so in the bottom, delta T is just delta T. Okay. So if we look, we can see constant, 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 and that is V drift, how far they go in a certain amount of time. So the microscopic model for charge is that it's N, which is the number, Q, their charge, um, uh, A, and V drift. So we're going to use that as we think more about charge. 